You've heard a lot about the Chattery here in Chattanooga for the last few days. It's a nonprofit that offers adult education and enrichment classes. Well, of course, last week, somebody broke into the Chattery, setting a fire, destroying everything inside. The owners are trying to figure out what's next. They say they're still holding classes, though. Cornelia Nicholson joins us here in the studio with an update. Cornelia. Greg, David, the Chattery founders say they're still in shock that someone set a fire in their building, but the outpour of support from the community has made it possible for them to continue on. We are here to create a community of lifelong learners and, you know, we had a devastating fire, but that is not going to stop us from continuing to learn. It's been a week since Chattanooga police say Michael Potter broke into the Chattery and set the building on fire. <coughs> Co-founders Jennifer Holder and Shawana Mason say the community rallied around them and the support has been overwhelming in a good way. They say people called, texted, and emailed kind words, suggestions, and even offers to use their spaces for classes. The Edney's hosting us, um, which we're so thankful for. And then we've got everything from Society of Work to Stove Works, um, who have reached out and have offered even classes this weekend. Common House uh, picked us up the day after our fire. The co-founders say the fire tore through their building, destroying everything inside. As of now, they've had their official walkthrough with the insurance adjuster and are working on a community cleanup day. Mostly everything inside will have to be trashed um, due to the smoke and all the damage and chemicals from plastic being burned. So we are in the very, very, very early stages of cleanup. While the insurance will cover some of the damage, Mason says they're currently working on replacing the supplies lost in the fire. I mean, we lost a lot of our, I mean, most of our class supplies. Now, we have art classes and craft classes weekly, and a lot of those things we already house. Um, and so that was all lost. So there are quite a few, like, things that we have to purchase, like, before insurance kicks in and before we move back into our space. Holder says the process to restore the building could take four to six months or longer. It's going to be a long process in terms of eventually figuring out where we're going to land. In the meantime, they're still in need of spaces to hold their classes and donations to help them stay afloat as they work to rebuild. The co-founders say you can still sign up for their classes. They're currently working to update everything on their website. So if it says the location is the Chattery, it will soon be updated. Of course, we have more information about the classes and how you can donate over on our website. David, Greg.